Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flatless Bird, this is Soy Basic Channel, and today we're continuing on Chapter 2 Platinum Shadow Flats with Meru in the party. Yes, welcome to the party, she finally got her Dragoon Stone in the last episode, as well as us defeating Linus one last time. We're still on the chase though for Lloyd, so let's not waste any time, let's get back into it. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. As first things first, we are talking to Martel. We have Stardust to give him. And we have a whopping seven. Okay, seven's not as big a whopping as I thought, but still, seven's really good. Thanks, thanks a million. Thanks a for the next time. Wait, wait, what? Are you serious? You didn't give me anything? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You didn't give me anything for that much Stardust? Oh, what a, ah. Oh. I mean, how many do I have? I have 28. So that means I hit the 25 mark. Should get an item at 25. Oh, let's head back to the palace, shall we? Princess Amelia's here. Let's go. Her graceful steps. Her dainty movement of the hands. Her gracious eyes. It's really her. She must be. She's up into the meal. Oh my god, it's the best day ever. She's back. Ah! Emil, I love you. I have returned after a half year of sleep. My father, King Zero, wanted to say it, but I heard that the evil doings of the sinner who feigned to me has harmed our people in Tevara. I can say it is my fault, because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I am determined to make atonement for this, even if it takes forever. I will do your part of battle, I love you! Don't blame yourself! Returning only makes us happy! Woof, 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 woof! I mean, let's give the dog some credit too, right? I owe a debt of gratitude. I love this country and I love you people. Let us mark this country. Continue to be a wonderful country. I have a favor to ask you, Princess Mio. May I ask you to name my baby, my soon-to-be baby, Your Highness? I shall name him Dart. It would be my pleasure. That would be awesome if she actually said that. How about Aye for a girl and Al for a boy? They had the sound of great energy and strength. Aw, she wanted to name him Al. Aw, Albert. You gotta go kiss the girl there. They have beautiful names. I thank you very much, Your Highness. God bless, Mrs. Abel. We love you. Demo Kingdom. All the best for us. Oh, Princess Emil. How beautiful she is. Albert? Just like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to the country of Princess Emil. Uh, is something wrong? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Well, no, where is Princess Emil? Ah, you can meet her again in the castle. Let's go. What happened to the dog, though? I want to see the dog. The dog was cool. I love Princess Emile. She's so graceful and perfect, and I want him. Eh, the trouble caused by the sea dragon, Alyssa Bay, has ended, and now they can push you to sea. It seems like a dream that we had so much trouble. Hey, big guy, let me through. I won't stop you, folks. You can pass freely. Okay, great. Good talk. We have been waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. I like that little salute there. That was really cool. Can I finally enter the kitchen? Nope. Sorry. I know this ain't the Chamber of the Sun, but at the same time... Oh, my... No, this is the throne room. Oh! This, I guess this is the Chamber of the Sun. I thought Chamber of the Sun was a tower. Heroes, forget about formality. You are the special guest of Tamura. 
Welcome back. I'm glad you are safe and sound. My sister is not acting as nothing happened. But until you get back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only a meal day. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well, well done. But the moon dagger is still in their hands. Stop it. The people brought justice upon the evil bandits. He defeated the sea dragon that infested Lisa Bay. Uh, it was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tibur and brought smiles back to our people. However, the moon dagger has to be passed on to Princess Emil. My boy, can I call you son? Yes, that'd be nice. The moon dagger is a mere royal tradition. Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. That is all the moon dagger can be. King Albert, you are satisfied with the way things turned out. Instead of the moon dagger, we found something else to hand down. That is, the horror story of you. I will pace down through the age, the ages from person to person. The seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the king who lives in the chamber of the sun. It was my pleasure, your majesty. Oh, yes, well, that's enough for formality. We're having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourself. Let's party. Like, it's a banquet, a party? I love how she just comes zooming in out of nowhere as, she, as soon as she hears party. Well, blindly speaking, yes, it is, my dear. Like, cool. It's a party, a party, a party for us. Party, party. We're going to have a party, 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 party. And we just looks back at her like, yeah, why not? Let's have a party. Oh man, we'll behave and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> she is cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Please feel free to relax. Albert, can you like relax with me? Uh, let us prepare for the banquet. I like how big Congo is <laughs> House. And look at Rose! Once again, Rose is just so chill. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna be back healing against the pillar. She always has a personality, which is really cool. It seems like can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so too. We have to leave here tomorrow. There's a good chance to relax. Mele Sisu, the country where Dart was born. We'll be busy again. I'll be walking around till the party starts. Woohoo! We're gonna have a party. We're gonna have a party. We're gonna have a party. Hey, where are you all going? Uh, I have an errand to do. Yes, I will leave the two of you alone. <laughs> are you going to, Rose? She doesn't mean to answer. Just walks off stage, right? She's like, I'm gone. <laughs> Let me go to... You have to appreciate what everyone did. What did everyone do? I'm so clueless here. That's what <laughs> I know that's what he's saying is like, what just happened? Why don't we go out too? I love you, Dart. Oh. Flat out comes out and says it. Good job. Because she he probably has no clue. Since I was little. It never changed, even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Okay, you know I made the FF9 reference the other day, but let me make an FF7 reference. She kind of reminds me of Tifa here. Shana. So, I don't mind being your baby sister, because I can be with you every day. That's just how I think. I, 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 I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shauna. I, um, let's continue this after our journey is over, all right? She 
Sha la 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 kiss. Oh, come on! Come on! Go away! Can we like just drop kick him off a building? Dirt, welcome back! Oh, what's wrong? You have such a sour face. Yeah, cock block. You think so? Anyway, you are famous in the city. The hero who defeated the dragon that descended down into Moroa. If you say so. Still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You are a time's latest hero. Um. By the way, the party is starting. Get rid of your uh, sour face, you know? Uh, and be happy. I'll see you later. Sha la 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 la. Oh, God, you did it! Give me. Oh. Ah. Rage intensifies. Oh, Mr. Dark, Miss Shana, why are you here? We are waiting for the party to start. It started soon. Please get everyone. Why can I prepare the dresses? I'll see you later. All right, I'm not gonna sing as long as time. It seems to be cursed. No, don't go anywhere. I'm going to look for everybody. Oh, just uh, 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 wait. Ah. It's like monsters and wanna be gods and devils and demons, but can't kiss a girl. I know who Princess Meal is in love with. Kinda obvious. Everyone except maybe Albert. Even though he should realize it. Is it a telescope? It's not. Uh, how do I get back? There we go. Can I go this way yet? Just to be as fine, I want to see the party food. We are not going to eat now. We just want a sample of food. That is eating. Come on, please get out. You are delaying the preparation. <laughs> oh, I love these characters. Mr. Dark, please stop them. Hey, words never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That is a basic understanding for a warrior. Like, you want to eat too, don't you, Dart? But that guy just ran in there. That was really weird. Uh, me too! Stop it. You are not a kid anymore. Oh, come on. You too, Hashel. The party is starting soon. Behave yourself. Like, is that true? Why didn't you say so? Yes, I'm here to tell you all that. Come on, let's go. I won't let you before the party starts. Sorry. Do I have to find everyone now? Where are the other people? The party is starting soon. Dang it, I gotta find everyone. Kongul! Just saying his name over and over. Oz! Friends! Aww, that's sweet. Friends of different species. Not bad. Ah! Don't do that. That's what I should say. Did you hear Kungo speaking? Not really. By the way, the uh, party is starting. Ooh, me like party. Me eat lot. Try not to eat people. The party is starting. Please find all your friends as soon as possible. How are we supposed to come here for dresses? These are all beautiful dresses. I need to see some beautiful dresses and sell us. Okay, the next easy spot should be, it should be the right side. Although I'm a little bit worried that they may be in the towers because that's a long time. I listen to music. I am a hero. You will laugh at me. 
Huh? I left now. I did laugh. Since I have started to wear this choker, I have not laughed for years. Huh. It was worth the wait. She's growing. It's really cool to see. Oh, you are here. I'm here to tell you that the party is starting. I'll be a fun party. You know, I thought of something, um, like yesterday or something, and I don't have an answer for it, and I don't know if you have an answer for it, and I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, but it's kind of bothering me. Why was Linus a wingly, and then she was a dragoon? I thought you were either a wingly or a dragoon. And I'm really confused by that. Because how could she be both? I don't know. It's just it's just one of those things that I... The more I think about it, the more I wonder, what did I miss something? Or... You know? So is Albert going to be in here? Talking to the princess? Aw, oh, look at them. Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? No, please tell me about it. The king of some country is gazing out over the waves of the sea and thinking his life is hollow just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love. Under the waves, a mermaid was singing the same things while it's gazing at the clouds in the sky. Oh my, what happened to the two of them? Would you like to know? This is a secret story handed down only within the Sodio royal family, so... I cannot tell you anymore. Unless you become a part of the Sodio family. I mean, oh, I'm sorry I cannot go on. Will you marry me? Oh, you're teasing me. Hmm. Haha. Uh -huh. But I'm having a fabulous time. I didn't know to pass a good time when I'm talking with you. I knew it! You are here! Is something wrong? Because you really shouldn't be here. Please go away. <laughs> the party is starting soon, so I'm calling everyone down. It's already that time. Unfortunately, I have to leave you. Why can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. Ah, you can simply say, tonight? Ooh! At the party. That's everybody. Oh, this is interesting. I'm gonna stick with the same party that I've been uh, using right now, which is Albert and Madu. By the way, she was saying something about dresses. Where should we go? We have to ask Libya about it. Or we could just go to that one place with all the dress lady, right? Uh, do we have... Bandage ring and physical ring. Okay, that sounds good. I still cannot believe I spent six months. I felt the horse. Okay, what's in here? Visit meal is no longer behind the portrait. Yeah, but did I ever have a chance to check this place with Stardust? The statue is in the shape of the stars. It's not surprising country that bleeds in stars. I really should check the other tower though. Like, I don't think I need to. I think I just need to go to the, the girl with dresses. On the right, on the, uh, on the, in the middle area, I believe. But there may be something else up here, so. Let me check. I've already missed a few things in this game by not checking places where I felt like I should check. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> and it's a lie because I didn't think about checking those places. I didn't know I should check those places until after the fact. So, yeah. Um, I didn't know at all. 
Defeating a sea dragon and wingly. It just got kind of pers uh, people King Zyre trust. Oh, we were supposed to go here. Cool. A strong heart. A passionate eye. A fabulous man. Ah. Uh. Huh? Oh, Dart, how long have you been here? Oh, how may I help you? Uh, everyone is looking forward to attending the party tonight. Of course, I am too. I'm looking forward to attending the party tonight. Okay, well, we got a little bit seen, but... Nothing else. I don't see anything here. <laughs> okay, well, let us head to the uh, the dress lady. Uh, she's basically where we found Congle. And I think that's uh, right here, right? It seems everyone is here. Miss Shana, Miss Rose, and Miss Mary, please come this way. You had to change into the dresses. Dresses? You are talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Emilia and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you? Uh, no thanks. It's not like you. Cause like, I'm a dancer. I can't dance well in those dresses. No thanks for me either. I feel naked without my sword. Please wait in the living room. I will come and take you there. Sean's gonna look amazing now. And of course, we'll never be able to have that character art of her again, probably. Which sucks, because I love when the characters get new artwork. Everything is ready. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. Oh, this is the banquet to honor the seven heroes to say to Please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. Mr. Dart! Wait for us! You must be Mr. Dart. I'm dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but monopolizing him is not fair. Please let me hear your story too. I would like to know more about you. Oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talked to him first. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. Hey, you. Take care of things here. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself with Shana? At least tonight, you had to make good use of the time the two of you earned together. Well, I make good use of these two. Haha. <laughs> uh, thanks? Creepy? Alright, yeah. Okay, you go. Knock yourself out. What did you do to Shana? Do? I didn't do anything. No, Shana, here. No? Congo, tell. Congo doesn't see from here. Where is she? Are you enjoying yourself? The perk, the perky dance by Miss Mary was very entertaining. Everyone else has these slow, methodical dances, and she's just running around twirling everywhere. Gotta love her energy, though. It's so cool. Are you enjoying yourself? Yep, it's fun. Are you like gonna dance too? Sure. I'll try. Right on. Ooh. Doing the salsa? Like, where's Shana? I don't know. Oh, go look for her. She should be waiting for ya. 
Come on, go! You're the star of the night. We are just serving as a backdrop. Mishana should be already here. I have to go to Melissa So with Dart. I'll wait for you forever. Oh, wow, I called that one before she even said it. Hey, how about that? I'm here. We'll see. The future of Studio Tabu is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. And distance makes the love grow deeper. That just makes a heart grow fonder. Anyway. I cannot watch this anymore. What's wrong? You have a long face. Hmm, if you're looking for Shana, she is not here. Dresses in starlight are not enough to eliminate a girl. I am talking with Pencil Meal about love and loving and love. Ah, right, yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> I was see Shana. Isn't she waiting for you somewhere, Dart? I cannot thank you enough. Mr. Dart! Miss Rose needs you. Really? This way? That's weird. Rose? Dart, why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that? She's over there. Job. Bam. Definitely doesn't look like your little sister anymore. You look beautiful. Thank you. But it's all thanks to this dress. Nah, I don't think so. That's not true. Aw. Look, a falling star. I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I know it. Because I wish the same thing. Aww. Aww. You want to save now? Really? Are we at the end of the chapter? Ah, uh, Phantom Ship. Yeah, why didn't I end a chapter, but I didn't have time to read it. Platinum Shadow, trophy earned. Complete chapter two. On to chapter three. Hey. You know, this gives me a moment to say that I probably need to um do a poll of what RPG we're going to play next after Ledger Dragoon. Uh, the poll will first start in Discord, where all the games on our recommended list are going to be up for vote. And the top five will become will become uh, votes up for YouTube. So if you would like the initial chapter three, Fate and Soul, if you would like the initial vote and be a part of that, please join our Discord. Uh, link is in the description below. There is a smell of blood around this place, but it's not bad at all. So when Millie says so now, I guess. It's like been a long time. Hey, have you been here? Um, yeah. Well, I'm very popular, that's why. I wonder if he sees her, or sees her like sort of like a, a daughter. No, I mean, because 
kind of lost his, so he's trying to make up for it by being good to her. Because him and her are, have been together a lot. Kangu, Kusi, first time. Farney, the Water City. This port is a front door to Milius, so... Anyway, I wonder why Lloyd revealed his destination to us. So we're not at Millie yet. I guess that's where we're heading. Well, I mean, that is where we're heading. I guess. I, I, guess. I still don't know. Whatever he wants, this will be the end of it. I agree. For the sake of the victims so far, it's not only that. In order to prevent there being new victims, we have to stop Lloyd. Mr. Dart, are you getting on board already? Um, no, we don't need to go anywhere. I got it. It's too early for the departure anyway. Yeah, I agree. Wow, this is like, uh, Venice. Is this leftover freight? Because look, there's like waterways. I mean, there's even a shop down there that you can seem to only get through the, the waterway. Hey, you got Stardust! It's a short rod. Is it for children? Yeesh, I hope that's a fishing rod and not a different type of rod. Oh yeah. Yeah, let, let's just let's just let's just say it's a fishing rod. It's a door in another person's house. You don't open. Oh come on! You're breaking the RPG commandments. Pillage everything. It's a kid's toy. I used to play with it. It's a duck-shaped window decoration. Children must like those. Oh no, I shouldn't have read the tale about fairies in the Evergreen Forest. Why? My son says he wants to be fairies in the Evergreen Forest. It's a problem being too peppy. What? What's this person here? I know there's someone here. When I was a child, I saw reality in fairy tales too. I think it's part of the growing up process to know my story is just a story. You know what? There are fairies living in the Evergreen Forest. My storybook says so. The fairies in the Evergreen Forest. I want to see them. It's dusty. It seems like it has been used for a long time. All the rods are well worn. Yeah, it's definitely a fishing village. This would be like a cool place to grow up. I know we won't have video games or anything here, but like if you lived in a fantasy world, a place like this is just beautiful. Welcome to Fernie. This place is warm because of the warm climates, but if you go inland, it becomes suddenly cold. Hey, so is often inland. Be sure to dress warm. Now let's go up here. I shouldn't have gone up here, considering the music. Who are these people? Resident Knight Harris. Seems to be all of us. Now I'll explain the strategy. We have to overcome the white wolf called Kamoi that lives in the Evergreen Forest between this village and Deningrad. Did you call us just for that? Not only that, a boy from the village, Teo, disappeared in the Evergreen Forest. The strategy is simple. All of us will beat the bushes all over the Evergreen Forest. I, prom I promise a five times larger prize for the one of you who defeats Kamoi. I promise the same for the one who saves Teo. It's gonna be me! I'm itching to do it. Who are you? I've never seen you before. You look like you have a chance, but I'm getting the prize. Don't ever disturb me. All the dogs. Are you scared of any wits and can't talk? Cut it out. You have to cooperate. We cannot overcome camera Y. I have no idea how to say that name. I'm doing Kemui, but it's probably something like Kemu, Kemui, Kemu. I don't know. I like Kemui. Sounds cool in my head, even though it's probably not true. <laughs> I'll let you know when we all start. Until then, you have some free time. You are dismissed. Yeah, I'm, I I just don't know how to pronounce that name, so I just said the first thing that came to mind. Even if it's horribly wrong, it's like, that's what came to mind. Uh, I didn't mean to leave. I meant to search that area. Grr, grr, grr. I will buy this and that with the buys. Hehehe. <laughs> Five times, huh? 
It's just one wolf. I will shoot it with my arrow. Probably is mine. I wonder if Kimui is going to be my, um, my next party member. Because I still think there's eight party members. I don't know why. It's just, when I look at the Stardust, it looks like there's an eight Stardust there. I'm not Stardust. Um, Gem, uh, Dragon Stone. It looks like there's room for eight. Uh, it's a deck brush often found on a boat. They use it just to clean up. Be really nice if I could find one more Stardust. Because that would get me to 30. And then, surely 30 has to unlock something. Sorry about Bogus' uh, disrespect. Everybody's feeling uptight before the battle with this savage wolf. Please excuse them. I understand. You are not here to overcome the wolf. Hmm. Be careful moving forward on your journey. We are going to leave tomorrow. What is that? We're going to the Evergreen Forest. Please be careful. Okay. It is a view of this village from the sea. It's a hammock. It has been carefully stood away. Okay, so I don't see any other stardust in here. Doesn't mean there isn't any, it just means I don't see any. Uh, this looks like the clinic. No, it's the uh, inn. It's a nice inn. I wonder if they let go of the small ones, so only big fish in it. It was two years ago, Teo bought back a ninja wolf cub. That cub is the camo we were talking about. Uh, now we cannot imagine it, but though Kimui is a wolf, it has a very affection to people. I know some wolf friends. Hello, Shadow Hearts. Uh, there's a lot of this... There is a lot of this kind of plant in Fernie. It seems to have something to do with the warm sea. But no Stardust. Uh, it's a vape for storage in the ship. They'll use this as a safe. I want to go to the National Library in Denigrad. Uh, your words too, right? Well, do something about the wolf. I said no Stardust here. I'm at 29, right? Yeah, I'm at 29. So badly need to get to 30. I'll be right with you. Oh, rent a boat. Cool. Here is a license for the boat. The mayor gave us an order to rent the boat to warriors for free. Warriors? Well, you are the warriors that can overcome the wolf, aren't you? Uh, absolutely. Free boat? I'll take it. Yes, we are. Well, you look fishy, though. I cannot give it to you because something is fishy. But oh, come on! Oh, the fishy people. Here, yeah, the lights will use the boat. So, may as well let warriors use the boat for free. You are actually warriors that can defeat. No, we're not. We are just travelers. We just arrived from Tibora today. From Tibora? With that huge boat? Yes, it is a Queen Fury. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, seven? Could you be the famous star of the Committee to conquer the Sea Dragon in Lisa Bay? Well, I guess the story has traveled all the way here. Han, let the man know about this. I'll be happy to hear about this. Here it is. The license for the book. Take it. Hey, cool. Thank you. See, you should always be honest to people. That's why. <laughs> I have to thank you. Thanks to you, we could all go fishing and go to Tabora. If you need anything, just drop by. We have a combination suit. I'll give you a good price. Uh, do we need to stay? No. We do not. What a beautiful place. Uh, let's go to the front. Because I want to go to that shop. 
Even though I think I could have gone to that shop without the boat. Um, let's go to House of Light first. Then we'll swing back to the item shop. Then we'll go back up. I was hoping that was a weapon shop, though. Oh, well, maybe they'll have weapons. You never know, you never know, you never know, you never know. Oh, wait a second. We've already been here. We've already been here. How is this? Oh, this house on the right. That's right. Okay. We've already been here. All right. Uh, item shop. Uh, talk to the guy in the item shop. Buy something. Uh, I really would like one single healing potion. I have a lot of healing items now. Uh, let's sell a sun map seat. I don't think I use those that often. And that leaves us with what? 27? And now, ooh. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to sell a healing potion. And I want to buy an, uh, another healing fog. Dissolves petrification. That kind of worries me. That really worries me. Let's go ahead and get rid of a mind purifier and a body purifier. And that way we'll have room for the two deep petrifiers. Like I said, that kind of worries me. Enemies that could petrify me. All right, wanna go to the left. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. I still need to sell all this stuff. I need to just take the time one day to do it. Uh, everything says finding the water city. These are just the knickknack souvenirs. Yep. Oh, yep, I was right. You can exit through here. If you visit this country, uh, the Royal Capital of Denigrad and Crystal Palace are must to see. Uh, Dengrad is a world country, a world capitalist country. The capital palace is this castle. This village is built in a bay, but it's only important because it's the only way to get around. In this village, you can have to get by without having a boat. Well, let's go get my boat back. I want to give this guy a free boat. Hold on a second. I'm just thinking, do I want to buy another healing fog? Let's buy one. And if I need to ditch something, I can always ditch that. I know I waste 30 gold by doing this, but it's 30 gold. And I'd rather be over cautious than not. Okay, where to? Um, we've been to the hotel. We've been to the front. Let's go left because left is always right. And then we'll go upper right. Okay, never mind. Uh, oh, weapon shop. Guys, right here. You better replace your weapons. Absolutely, if you have something to replace them with. Dancing dagger, we already have it. You got to helm. Ooh. Ugh. Drops his magic attack like a rock. I mean, he has pretty bad magic attack already. But still, this makes it so that magic attacks are never worth it. And I don't know if I like that. Well, for most of the time, though, he's going to be just getting hit physically. So let's give him that. We can always unequip it and give him the magic helmet later. Uh, increases escape rate from physical attacks by 5 points. Doesn't seem to do anything. I have to see what you guys have. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to see what you guys have for boots. Uh, do so and avoids. Oh man, they're really, really hamming up this uh, petrification, aren't they? Raises physical attack power and magic power. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that looks incredible. Uh, a loot cloak. This looks incredible. That's going to dart into a powerhouse. Yeah, let's buy those. Are you the hero so tomorrow? It seems there's no need for you to show up. Wow. Wow. Just, just, yeah. Okay, I, I need to see what boots we have before we sell anything. Which means I need to get out of this boat. Which is very annoying. Don't know why I can't just look at my menu while I'm in the boat. There's a guy to sail all the way over here and then gotta go all the way over here. Alright, uh, let's see. Boots. Can't even see what boots we have. Yeah, I can't even see what boots we have. So I just say buy those boots because those boots are probably going to be better than anything else that we have, right? I mean, just just basic law of RPGs. Uh, if you're picking up something later in the game, it's probably better than something you got earlier in the game. Not always. Not always. But usually. Uh, left. And then talk to the barbecue shop. And buy those boots. A little expensive, but probably helps. All right, let's go to the right. And then we'll go top right. Uh, clinic, probably don't need to go there, but we'll go there anyway. And the reason is, is because there may be a, um, a starter somewhere. Never mind. Apparently we can't, um, can't do anything with that. So let's go. Let's go to the mayor's house. Are they coming yet? The hills of Tiboa? I should not have come here first, but I don't think I don't think anything's gonna happen because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go to the world map uh, to go to the forest. So I'm not really afraid of missing something here. Oh, I could sit still. I was just pacing around waiting for you. The story of your work deeds at Tibor has reached us here in Perny. It is wonderful what you did. And now I would like you to listen to my story. But please wait, I don't know what you're talking about. I would like to talk briefly about the sad situation of this village. Would you please listen to me? Alright. This is my daughter, Fa. A few days ago, my daughter was attacked by a wolf. Fortunately, the injury is not bad. However, since then, she hasn't talked at all. Probably from the shock of the incident. Poor thing. The wolf is becoming more savage every day. Now he has been joined by monsters from the Evergreen Forest and they attack people. I see. The warriors outside are the group headed for battle. Indeed, if we finish off the wolf, your daughter may become better. But it is more complicated than that. The war was called Kimwi that attacked Fa was kept by the boy of this village until recently. And the boy who kept Kamui named Teo has disappeared. On the night Fa was injured, Teo disappeared from his home. Probably feels responsible and ran away. Teo has been Fa's friend since they were little. They are best friends. And do you want us to cooperate with you on your mission? Yes, of course. I cannot force you. Now we have a lot of warriors. Maybe they are enough. 
Oh, sorry about this. I have made you listen for such a long time without thinking about you at all. Well, as my apology, once you stay at my house for the night, it will be an honor to entertain heroes. Well... Do you like Shauna? Aww. Or tonight only, thank you. Aww. I'm glad, Fa's happy too. She has been lonely since her mother passed away. Now let me see. When you're ready to say come back, I'll prepare dinner with Fa. Nothing even is showing up. You might normally all say something about something. I like nothing. Oh, nice view. How is there nothing up here? Oh, that'd be a really good place for Dart and Shine to hang out. You can imagine sitting up there with your girl. Oh, wow. All right, well, let's come back here. Uh, we'll, we'll explore the other places first. Why did it sound like a chest opening when we ride the boat, by the way? It's so weird. Uh, let's go to the right. Wait, I didn't think, I thought to the front where it bring us back here, not to the right. Well, that sucked. Uh, up right. And then front. What the heck? What the heck? I could have swore I said right, and I went forward. Maybe I misclicked or something. I don't know. Ah, I'm sorry about that all. I'm going absolutely crazy with this. Alright, right. There we go. Right. Okay, don't press cross there. Sorry, but this road is closed. Take another road. Okay, so I guess that's the uh the way to the um That's probably the way out of the city. Are you ready to stay here? Sure, why not? Now let's have dinner. Yes, dear? Are you sleepy? You want to go to bed together? Probably she wants warm. Let's go to bed together. She's so sweet. Shauna is just, just such a good spirit. Huh? This lullaby. Home of Hassel, 27 years ago. Isn't it lovely, Toon? This tune is a lullaby that I'm dedicated to my future baby. Well, that might be better for her than Mastery, the Master Arts. But that would make, I mean, it, if that was Shauna, she would be like 26 now. 
I always thought she was like 18. She is sleepy now. Isn't it a sweet tune? I learned this from Dart. Uh, Dart knew this tune. Okay, so Dart is the one who... So is the baby Dart? He said that his late mother sang it to him. It's a special lullaby for Dart. What? I see. It was not a quiz for me to be here. Wait, is Hashel my father? I'm going to get some air. It reminds me that Dart has been outside on the roof forever. Why don't you join him? I was saying it would be beautiful to spend some time out there with Shauna. Oh, look at the little... Cheese. Look at her. It's a tune from my memory. Do you remember when you first came to Celeste? I was little and used to sing this song to me. I remember that. Back then I used to take care of you as if you were my real baby sister, Shauna. Huh. Like a baby sister. But many things have changed since then. You and I too, Dart. Yeah. You and I too, Shauna. Huh. Yes, we have. Childhood friend. Hmm. I wonder how my childhood friend is doing. The moon that never sets. I hadn't noticed, but the moon has been revolving itself on her journey. The heck? My my head hurts. Shauna? Like, what's wrong? Are you alright? wrong with Shauna? Game! Game! Thank you! <laughs> no, I'm not being impatient. I'm just like, don't leave me on that cliffhanger! I'm fine now. I can leave any time. What's wrong with you? What happened? Are you really okay? You can stay here forever if you'd like. Thank you very much, but I really have to go. Hey, kid. I'll see you soon, all right? Let's go. We have to find Lloyd soon. It won't be too late. I'm with you. All the dogs. The animals of force became savage like Kimway. Please be careful. Kimway and other animals of force have become savage. Okay. I'm pretty sure I could go the other way now. See, it sounds like a chest opening, doesn't it? Yep, I can go this way now. Right. Thank you. It says Kamui's house. Aww. Supposed to be Tio's home. Little dog house. It's a chest that stores freight. Oh, okay. We've already seen that. Before I go up there, let me, um, check down here. Calm down, we have so many warriors. Taylor will come back safe. Taylor was our son. He should be okay. Calm down. Kamui is a monster now. It's not that Kamui up before. Oh, no. Teo, Teo. Must have forgotten about me. Uh, there are so many cooking tools. There must be a glutton living here. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. What's down there? How do I get down there? Can I get down there? Let me know if I miss something and I need to go back down. <laughs> that was 
was awesome! Dude, this kid's house rules. There was something up here, though. Like, there was something to click on. Weird. I could have sworn there was something to click on up here. Yeah, right there. What is that? Aha! Alright, cool. There is a way down here. Hey, we found a Stardust! 30 Stardust. Let's go. Uh, it seems the metal base is a uh, toy for kind of kids. Uh, it says treasure chest, so child's handwriting. Seems this is a storage place. I knew there had to be a secret down here. And I knew there was something up there, too. I was like, I know I saw something. Where is it? Mele is Sasu. Evergreen Forest. All right, my friends. Well, my name is The Flat This Bird. This is your story based gaming channel. And in our next episode, we're heading to Evergreen Forest here in Chapter 3, Fate and Soul. Like I said, I'm probably going to have that poll run on Discord. I can't imagine we're super close to the end of the game. But at the same time, it's probably not a bad idea to know what we're going to play next. Because the poll's going to take two days on Discord. And then it's probably going to take about an additional two days on YouTube. And this time, this time what I'm going to do is when the poll ends, I'm going to take a screenshot of the poll when it ends. And I'm going to post saying, this is when the poll ended. These were the votes. Uh, basically, the poll is going to last for approximately two days. I wish I could give an exact time. But the problem is my schedule is not always convenient. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, uh, expect it. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day, and I will see you again very soon. Love you greatly. Y'all take care of yourselves. Until then, so long. Yeah, take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.